Today I'm going to help you make your very own DIY essential cleaning spray. I call this essential cleaning spray not because we're going to use essential oils to make it, but because I find that it is an essential cleaning product in my home. I have to have it to clean my home. It's a multitasking and a multi-surface cleaning tool that works great. Because these oils, the top five that I have picked for you are the top bacteria busting properties of all the oils, it can clean a lot of the surfaces. Two of these oils have antifungal properties which are going to clean the athlete's foot from the bathroom and whatever is growing in the refrigerator. To get started, I want to share with you four cautionary statements for the safe use of essential oils. So let's get started with number one. Number one is essential oils really aren't oils at all. If you remember chemistry class where they talked about hydrocells and alcohols, they're more along that lines. They're very potent. They're 70% more potent than the plants that they came from. Number two, because they are so potent, if you are going to be using these essential oils around the elderly, young children, or pets, be careful. Less is more around this population. I know essential oils smell great, and if you're thinking, well, if they clean bacteria and I add more, it's gonna clean more bacteria, that is not the case. A little goes a long way, and you wanna ensure the safety of the people who are close to you. So you might even wanna dial back five drops per oil, because then you're gonna ensure the safety of your family. Number three, please never, 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 unless you are recommended by a registered aromatherapist to never put oils directly on your skin without having them diluted, never ingest them by food or drink. And number four, essential oils are very strong, again, as I have said, and they have the ability to strip the finish off of fine furniture. So you wanna be careful about using them on antique pieces or new furniture that has a nice finish on it. When you are blending your oils, you wanna make sure that you have a surface prepared, especially for blending your oils. And with that being said, let's get into these oils. First, we're gonna talk about the spray bottle. This bottle that I'm using is 32 ounces, and I have chosen one with a green sprayer so I can remember that this is herbal spray and that just helps me remember. So if you are using a smaller bottle, a 16 ounce bottle, you will cut this recipe in half. If you are eight ounces, you're gonna cut it in half again, and so on and so forth. So the oils we're gonna be using are lavender, orange, cinnamon, and clove, as well as tea tree. Each one of these oils, all of them, lavender, orange, cinnamon, clove, and tea tree, all are antibacterial, antiviral, and antiseptic. Lavender and tea tree oil are both antifungal. These are the top five bacteria busting oils, and they're gonna clean anything in your home. I recommend to put them on the highest traffic contact points. For instance, doorknobs, light switches, remote controls. I use them on my kitchen counters and sinks, floors, everywhere. And when I go to bed at night, I spray it on my living room furniture and let it dry overnight. I spray it on the carpets just because I know that whatever is leaning, lingering around, it's going to be there to clean it up. So we're gonna start with lavender, and we're gonna do about 20 drops per oil into this container. So luckily, I know about how much 20 drops is. I have been blending essential oils for about 19 years now. I am a massage therapist by day, and I have enjoyed all of the benefits of a natural home and incorporating essential oils into our lifestyle for all of this time. And 
And there you have it. You mix well each time you use it. Well, there you go, friends. We've just made our very own DIY essential cleaning spray. Please be sure above all else that you have labeled it correctly, that everyone knows what is in it and how it's going to be used. Make sure your family is educated on where and when to use the spray. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will give it a like or a thumbs up. If you have other friends who are starting their natural journey and want to uh, enjoy this recipe, please share the video. Be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.